we are going to do a test once and for all. Today we're going to compare LED lights versus fluorescent tube lights. So you guys saw that I just received that Vipar Spectra XS1000 Grow Light in the mail. And I did a little video on it. I'll put a link in the description below. I got a lot of questions about the fluorescent tube bulbs that I use under my little grow table. And I thought, I need to do a better comparison. I need to actually put these things side by side in two different grow tents so we can see once and for all which light is more effective. We can talk about price. We can talk about output all of it and look at them side by side and see which one of these is going to win out. Now we're going to head out to the pump house in just a second and see which one of these lights does better in two different grow tents side by side. But first I want to answer one thing that people have been asking about since posting that last video and it is why don't you just find the highest lumen fluorescent tube bulbs that you can find and put those in. Won't those be better than the LEDs? And the answer to that is no. Now I don't want to get too in depth into lumens and all that kind of stuff. I did a really neat video about that last summer and I went into all the detail, drew pictures and everything for you guys. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in understanding it. I broke it down and made it really easy to understand. But for now I just want to compare these two lights. What you should know is that lumens are actually the measurement of light that we see mostly, which typically tends to be in the middle of the spectrum, but it leaves out all the other light that's available. And that's the light that the plants can see. We're interested in measuring all of the light that the plants can see so that we can maximize their growth. All right, so here we are with two tents. We've got a three by three tent here and we've got a two by four tent here. I've got the fluorescent tube bulbs and we've got four bulbs in this particular light right here, you can see. And these are TA bulbs, there are 32 watts per bulb. Now, this light is gonna be about, I think it's 6,000 Kelvin, something like that, it's more of a blue light. And this one right here is LED and it's the Vipar Spectra XS1000 we just got. And I need to make a correction on that last video. I said 150 watts. It's actually 120 watts. So it was pumping out all that power at 120 watts, which is even better. So this has got LEDs in here. The other one is fluorescent bulbs. And this one is a full spectrum of light between about 400 and 700 nanometer range of lighting. So this has got all the light that the plant needs to thrive. This one's missing some in the red range and in the middle green area, but the red is what the plant really needs for flowering. So let's get these guys on and see what they look like. All right, get that guy going. And then we'll come on over here and turn our little knob on. I still like that feature of this LED here. Just a nice little on off switch and a knob to crank up the watts, but here we go. So you can see kind of how bright it is right now versus the fluorescent tubes kind of hard to see both of them let me see i got a i'm in a 12 by 12 room here there we go now we can look at both of them the camera kind of adjusts to different lighting when it's looking at just one of them but now with both of these on in the camera at the same time you can see that the led is definitely brighter now i've got four 32 watt bulbs in there that's the fluorescent bulb so that's 128 watts total this is 120 watts total and it's turned all the way up. So you can see how much brighter that is. Now this one's going to look a little dimmer just because most of the lighting is in that higher Kelvin range. This one is a full spectrum of light over here. But you can just see the brightness in it. This the bright white output it's putting out. Just more like kind of the sun I guess you'd say than this guy here. Now this is the same fluorescent bulbs I've had my house plants and cuttings and things like that inside my house growing under these fluorescent tubes just like this, not these LEDs. These are what the peppers are growing in. You've seen that in that tent indoors. All right, so you see the two side by side here and I went ahead and got our PAR meter out and I'm gonna test both of these lights right now in these tents side by side. Now they're a little bit different size tents just because of the shapes of the light, but once you've got the tents closed up, it's gonna be relatively the same effect. So we're gonna see where this goes. But what I want you to remember first is when we did that last video, and like I said, I'll have a link down below, we tested the fluorescent tubes in my house underneath the table and the PAR 
right at the plant level was right around 120. So that's what we were getting and it was maybe two foot above the plants. Now we're going to compare apples and apples. We've got both lights at exactly 57 inches. So they're hanging at exactly the same height. And I'm going to measure it down at the bottom there, down at the bottom there. And we'll see just how much intensity and brightness each of them puts out in par measurement, which is actually the measurement that you want to know for your plants because that's what they're looking at. That's what they're seeing. That's what they're eating up to grow. So we'll get this guy turned on. See that that's reading okay, 118, there it is, already. So we're in the center of the tent right now. We're in the Vipar Spectra tent with the XS1000 light, only 120 watts, it's cranked up all the way. We're 57 inches down, I guess you'd say 56 inches because that, that little meter is about, uh, or that sensor is about an inch tall. And here we are, 120. 120 in the center of the tent, cranked all the way up. That's the exact same that the fluorescent tubes, four of them, inside the house were putting out at about two foot. This is 57, 56 inches up, if you're taking into account that sensor. Now, if we move all the way out to the edge of the tent here, that's when things start changing usually. We still got 114, 113. And that was my point in that last video. You've got, this light is high up in here and you've got an even spread, an even light spread throughout. Let's go to the back corner. And there we are, 135. And like I said before, it's because that light's bouncing off the edges of the tent there. So it's actually higher than it is in the center. So this tent right here is beautiful. And this was the whole point I was trying to make was that if you hang one of these low wattage lights in a three by three tent, and you could do this in a five by five, I'm sure. But if you hang it in a three by three like this, I'm actually able to show you those numbers and you've got it higher up like that, more than four foot, almost five foot up here, then you've got an even spread or a fairly even spread that will grow anything you want, house plant, cutting, ceiling related, in a nine square foot area. But I'm convinced you're going to get good readings in a five by five. I'm just convinced of it with this light. I'd love to try it. I need a five by five tent to show you guys. One of these days I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> but for now, there it is. Now, we've got a relatively similar amount of space in this tent. This is eight square foot. This one's nine, this is eight square foot. It's just shaped a little differently because of the shape of the light. That's what it fits in. So, we're gonna measure the same, same measurement here from the same height with fluorescent tubes. All right, so this one right here, the LED light was 120 to 135, depending on where you were at. It was 120 right in the center. This is the exact same height. Let's go see exactly what it is. I've already got it turned on here. We're in the center of the tent, and this thing is reading 27. 27 par, 26 par, right in that range there. So this thing's almost, is 100 par less. 100, 100 par, which is the usable energy for the plant, less than this light, but remember, let me step back here, remember, we're putting out the same wattage. This is 128 watts. This is more wattage. This is 120 watts. Same wattage. You're gonna, your, your power bill is going to be exactly the same. But you're getting way more usable light and full spectrum of light in this tent versus the fluorescent tube. So I know people use fluorescent tubes a lot. Let's actually, let's finish this little thing up. And then I want to make this point. So we're going to go all the way to the corner. Actually, let's go to this corner because that thing is blocking it. So we're over there in the corner. And there it is. It's an even spread, but it's 28. It's still 28. Let's, let's uh, how about in the middle there? We're right here in the middle of the tent on the edge. 24. Now let's see what it takes to actually, I'm going to raise this thing up. We'll just bring it up about halfway. I'm not going to measure it, but we're about halfway between the light and the floor. So maybe two and a half feet up, something like that. Let's see what this is measuring at. Where are we? 52. You gotta go halfway up. You gotta get two and a half foot under that light where the other one's almost five foot. You gotta get two and a half foot under the light just to get halfway there in par. And you could raise and lower this light, but you're still using eight more watts. You're still burning the same wattage 
and then you can't, you have no room, you know, you gotta raise and lower this thing constantly. And you don't have room for like shelving if you want to do plants all along the walls in here, if you could figure that out. It's just, you know, I, I don't even know what to say. Let's talk about this for a minute though. Or actually, one more, one more thing I wanna look at. So, I gotta bring this thing a foot under the light just to get in the same range. 125, a foot under the light. That light's gotta be all the way down on those plants which gives you not much room for growth to get the same light intensity and it's not even a full spectrum of light so there's the shootout guys i mean you tell me which one wins so i thought that was pretty cool i didn't know how those numbers were going to come out this is the first time i've looked at this today with you guys and i'm pretty amazed at how the differences came out between the led versus the fluorescent tubes as i'm growing indoors more and more with these led lights and seeing the benefits of them and how the plants are responding, I really think I'm gonna move in that direction. They, you can use the same wattage and you get much more light intensity. You get a broad, full spectrum of lighting so the plants can grow better to their full potential. The one downside is the cost, but something small like that for house plants isn't that much, 129 bucks. The difference is that thing is an investment. It's gonna last 10 years on average, depending on how much you use it. But it's gonna last a long time and you're not gonna be buying new light fixtures or new bulbs all the time and running through them. You're gonna have way better quality light. Anyway, that's how I see it. I hope this little test helped you guys to see side by side which light performed better. Henry's showing up which light perform better and helps you make a decision in the future. Whichever way you decide to go, it's all good with me. Heck, I've got both sets of lights running. I've got tubes running, the fluorescents, and the LEDs in my house right now. So you just got to pick what you think you'd want to use and what's going to work the best for you. But I'm telling you, these LEDs, I am really, really liking the results on them. So if you're interested in the LEDs, there will be links down below with discounts, so check that out. If you guys like this one, I think Henry liked it, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along and see more fantastic gardening videos. Have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.